Hey guys, Tommy here. Uh, coming to you from the beautiful Hedrin. This is where the full moon party happens. I came here yesterday. Uh, check it out. I've been on this island for a little while. Koh Phangan, Thailand is a beautiful island. And uh, this video, by the way, is a general kind of update on various things. I'll be talking to you guys about some cryptocurrency stuff, just some general philosophy stuff, and kind of catching up on me. I know some of you guys have wanted to know. I uh, want to see a video from me, so here we go. I felt it was a good time. So anyway, this, this place is lovely. This is the day after the full moon party, and they do like another party, kind of. It's a lot. It's a lot more mellow today, but uh, I'm usually on the north side of the island, which has a lot of yoga and that kind of stuff, but uh, you know, sometimes it's good to get away and come down. Um, but there was one interesting thing I noticed. So when the full moon party is going on, you see all these, uh, I'm gonna try to point on the camera, see if it's possible. Okay, <laughs> that's probably not gonna work. All right, in front of all those buildings there, uh, they're just lined up with food. Uh, and the problem is they're lined up with really crappy food. It's all chicken, uh, pizzas, uh, kebab, just the whole way through. And I was like, man, just unfortunate that that's, that's the quality of food that's all around here. Um, I uh, kind of, related or unrelated, I broke a 13-day water fast just just not too long before that. So uh, I'm looking at all this food, and I know this is crappy food. Uh, but it, it just makes you realize, like, why is there this much bad food here? It's because that's what people want, you know? And it's a lot of, unfortunately, younger people, hopefully younger generations, we understand that quality food's important. This is the same reason why McDonald's and Burger King is still prevailing in the US and all those crappy foods. It's because that's what people are willing to pay for. We have to change our, um, our consciousness, our understanding of food for these things to change. I would have loved to see more fruit stands here. Hopefully that changes in the coming years of the full moon party or any parties. Uh, but uh, yeah, I found finally a watermelon at a restaurant and just had a nice watermelon uh, so, but anyway, just something to share with you. Okay, so this is an impromptu video too, so uh, I'm just gonna kind of hit subject to subject. Uh, let's see here, I'll show you guys the ocean. This, this ocean is really nice to swim in. Uh, a lot of beaches here have rocks. Uh, this one does not have rocks, they cleared them out. So it's a nice beach to swim in too. So maybe I'm kind of thinking about taking, taking a dip. You can see the weather's a little cloudy. Uh, but that's cool. You don't get sunburnt. All right. Uh, let's see. Things to talk about. What's going on with the crypto market? Well, we're obviously in a bear market. It should be more than abundant to everybody. Uh, yeah, this is a time where I personally uh, take advantage of this time, and I probably encourage you guys to do the same to work on those things. Otherwise, in your life, catch up on those things, prepare for the next crypto market so next time it comes you're ready you're ready for mentally you got to be ready for uh, uh, if you want to measure how overvalued the market is to make sure you time a good exit next time not necessarily of all your assets but it's probably a good idea to be prepared to sell some of your assets not investment advice as always <clears throat> but uh, yeah you know that's always good prudent thing those are things I was I'm thinking of uh, there's a lot that goes into it. You have to think about um, how exactly are you gonna sell? Are you gonna sell for dollars? Are you gonna sell for another crypto asset? Uh, these are things that I didn't prepare for enough uh, and I will make sure that I'm prepared for come the next uh, bull run. So as it is, you know, we're in a bear market uh, and that's okay. I'm, just, I'm so blessed overall, great uh, in general for cryptocurrency. Uh, there is no asset class that performs like it. We're very blessed to live in this day and age where we have that. Uh, so it's just, I remember just every so often, you know, you uh, like you see kids, you know, around here. There's a lot of young people around here, and I'm thinking how a $20 hostel is challenging for them. And while the bungalow I've been living in for the past while is also like. $15 a night, you know, if I wanted to, I could definitely afford something better and not having to worry about that is uh, is a good thing and cryptocurrency provides that freedom. You know, you just, if you're in cryptocurrency for a few years, even if you get in at the peak of a, a bull market, which is when I got in, I got in when crypto was really overvalued 
Um, if you guys haven't seen that story, it's somewhere on my YouTube channel. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's stuck through it and kept adding while it was while it was cheap. Like now, crypto is cheap. Is it necessarily a bottom? No, and it's impossible to say without hindsight where the bottom is. But the market is really cheap. So Ethereum, it you know, in the four hundred dollar range is insanely cheap. Uh, personally. I don't even know, whatever. It's. I think it's gonna hit probably 5,000 or so, maybe more in the next bubble. Uh, don't take that to heart. <laughs> Just totally a rough estimate, but realistically, uh, yeah. So if you're buying these things now, these things can go up a lot in value, then so, uh, this is the time you buy. That's the point, the point I'm trying to make. You buy when there's blood in the market. No one, the average people have forgotten about crypto. They don't care anymore, they've moved on. Uh, those of you guys who are watching this video are probably a bit more in tune. So if you're not at that point of financial freedom, now's the point where you can be adding to that stack. Um, let's see. So I've been working on a project, Energy. Uh, I've mentioned that before. Uh, our project is growing really well. We are at about a 30-man team now. Um, really good organization. Uh, strong direction. This is something that I created energy because I wanted a project like it to invest in and it didn't exist in the space. So I just created it uh, and that's pretty cool. So uh, I've been leading that ship and uh, it's going well. We're still at super early stages. We're totally under the radar. No one really knows about us, but uh, I think soon, sooner or later people will. Um, all right, I'll talk about one more thing here, so uh, my, my fast, I did a water fast for 13 days uh, and it was just like again the day before yesterday I broke it and um, I wasn't planning on when I started my fast, I didn't realize, my, I didn't decide that my last meal was going to be my last meal, I just started, just started doing it the next day. I heard about it a few months ago from someone here. Uh, on this island and he fasted for 10 days and I didn't even know that was possible. And uh, when I heard about it, I did it. And uh, there's also a pretty good resource. There's a guy named Lauren Lockman on YouTube. There's a truck coming here. No idea where it's going. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, Lauren Lockman, uh, L-O-R-E-N. He's got some content on YouTube. He's got some interesting stuff about water fasting. Do your own research, listen to your body. I quit at day 13, uh, not out of hunger. I mean, obviously you are a bit hungry, but I could have kept going just because my body felt like it was getting a little stressed and it was like, I want to listen to my body. So I decided to, to, uh, to cut it then. But could, you know, some people do 30 day fast, 45 day fast a lot. You know, it's a lot of, there's a lot of spirituality that goes into it too. So it was a cool experience and uh, gave me some unique perspective uh, and insight. I definitely lost um, a good amount of weight. Um, I lost fat and muscle, but I am very confident I can build that muscle back pretty easily. I feel like my body is, uh, I know how to train that. So um, yeah, let's see what else to talk about for you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm including this stuff on this channel because, you know, I mean, I think it's a fitting place. I don't want to create a new channel just for vlogs. I think that's a little unnecessary. Uh, and I think you guys might enjoy this kind of stuff too. So, uh, you know, it's a bit different. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you guys for now. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts. Uh, be sure to like it, as always, if you like it. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys around.